I was the first person in my family who'd ever been to university. Um, and, um, and, and most people, when they think of someone like me in my position, would absolutely jump to the opposite conclusion. I get inspired by people who see themselves as taking risks, overcoming adversity, and for me that encompasses a very, very broad span of people, whether it be um, patients who take part in our clinical trials, knowing very likely the trial is unlikely to benefit them, they might nevertheless have some risk from taking part, but they're doing it for the benefit of humanity. Our scientists who you know, spend decades thinking about particular problems that are going to overcome the challenges of, of, a, of a really complex disease like cancer. Very recently we completed a project that I've been working on for 10 years where we've created something called the Francis Crick Institute uh, which is right here in London and it is the largest biomedical research institute in Europe. It may even be the largest in the world and it will be a place where in the decades to come profoundly important discoveries will be made for the benefit of human health. When it started it was a single phone conversation between me and a colleague in another organisation where we said to each other wouldn't it be great to do something of a substantive scale where we can pool our efforts to create something that um, will be of such importance globally. Um, and typically in Britain we don't tend to think of ourselves as taking on such huge challenges. Uh, but not only have we done so, but it's been delivered, it's up and running and it's doing fantastic science, which, as I say, will prove to have been of profound importance in the decades ahead. So I, for me that's a, that's a great achievement that, that you know, will be there as a legacy for the next 50, 60 years.